Hey Deckers, Zendus Zone Zero has finally released and I have fantastic news. It is running on the Steam Deck, but it does require a bit of manual installation. But don't worry, I'm going to guide you through that process in this video. And I'm going to have a separate video guide on the best settings and gameplay as there are a few other tweaks that we want to do there. But this is going to be focused on getting it installed and actually running on your deck. Okay, so first thing you need to do is switch over to Steam Deck desktop mode by going into the power options and selecting switch to desktop. Once that restarts into desktop mode, you want to open up your internet browser. I do recommend using Chrome, it makes life a lot easier, especially if you are used to having your Google Sync and stuff. If you don't have Google Chrome installed, you need to go into the Discover Store and just search for Chrome and install that and you'll be good to go. Once you're in your browser, go to zenless.hoyoverse.com and hit the download link up in the top and select download via Hoyo Play. Download this somewhere easy to get to, like the downloads folder. And before anybody asks, no Roblox doesn't work, despite what we tried to do. So that just needs to be deleted. Once the download has been completed, open up the folder. Don't try and run it directly. And then right click on it and say add to Steam. Steam should be running in the background by default. If it's not, then you will need to start that up. This doesn't seem to need a restart anymore, but if it doesn't pop in your library, then make sure you restart Steam to see that in there. Otherwise, you should be able to go into your library and find the Zenless Zone Zero installer. Click on this and go to the settings cog and then properties and set the compatibility on and set it to Proton Experimental. This should be on your deck as standard. It might need updating, just be aware when you do this. If it doesn't run, make sure it's all up to date. Once that's set, just hit play and this will launch the installer. Run through the process, it will ask for Visual C++ installer and bits and pieces. I did just do the quick installation on this section after agreeing to the terms. If you do want to try and set this on an SD card, you want to go through the custom installation, but as it's a small installer, it's fine to just put this here. Agree to the Microsoft C++ install, and this will just run through the process. Once it's finished, hit finish and launch, and it will launch into the Hoyo player. Now you'll need to download the game. By default, this does set itself into the compatibility folder where we expect. I did try and change this to make it a little bit easier like I have done in the Genshin videos previously, but for some reason, remapping this to a simple folder, which I have on my home deck folder, seems to mess with the storage that it thinks is available. And once I'd actually set my normal custom location, it would only report seven gig free. Now clearly there wasn't, there's over 120 gig free. So there definitely seems to be an issue with the detection there. So just quit out of that and go back in. It should go back to the default area. Now, hopefully that will work if you have an SD card mapped, if you do want to offload it to the SD card. Otherwise this looks like it might only work on your local drive in the compatibility folder for now. Hit the download button and this will take a while depending on your internet speed, probably even longer if you are downloading to the SD card. So I'm gonna skip ahead to when this has finished downloading. Once it's done, you'll get the start game and you can just hit that and it should launch up just fine. Once in, you'll need to link your account. I do recommend that you go with the controller option, obviously, especially for later, and that you log in with an actual email and password for cross device compatibility. Linking on the social logins doesn't seem to link easily back to a username and password login. So be aware of that. If you do want to use it across devices, go with the standard username and password for most compatibility. Other than that, it will do some updates when you start to play just to bring things up to date, but you'll be now good to go. Now, if you want to make sure that this is updatable and able to do some more advanced bits and pieces, then that's what I'm gonna go through next. If you just wanna dive into the game and start playing, then off you go. If you want to tweak this somewhat, then we can actually just rerun the installer, leaving it as it is. Although it does reinstall a few files each time, everything else stays up to date. Hopefully this means though that your Hoyo player would stay up to date, even if they do update it, which did cause some problems in Genshin Impact. But if you don't want to go through the installation process each time, it doesn't reinstall the game. It just reinstalls the launcher into the same place, fortunately, and then remembers that the game is installed. So you can just run it this way each time for safety, although it can be a little bit annoying. 
And obviously you can go into the properties and rename this to something a little bit nicer looking, especially if you're going to change the artwork later. Now if you do want to access the game directly, which makes things a lot easier, then you want to open up the Dolphin Explorer, go to Home and then Deck, and then you want to look for this .steam hidden folder. If you don't see hidden folders, check the little menu icon on the right and make sure Show Hidden Files is ticked. Then go into the .steam folder, then into the Steam link, and then look for Steam Apps. Then we want Compat Data. Now this should be the last thing that you installed. So if things are in order, it should be the very last folder with a really long number on it. But you might need to do a quick search or try a few of these. And you want to go into the PFX Drive C folder and then into the Program Files directory and you should see how you play. So once we get there, we want to go into that directory, not the numbered directory, but into Games. And then you should have a Zendler Zone 0 directory. And if we scroll to the bottom here, we want the Zendler Zone 0.exe. Now, if you right click on this, you can add it to Steam. And now, of course, if you go and change the compatibility of that to Proton Experimental as well, you can now launch the game directly without switching into the launcher. Now, I do recommend keeping the launcher around just in case we do need to do an update. So renaming that one to Zender Zone Zero Installer and keeping the other one as the actual game link directory will keep you safe. Now, whatever you do, do not remove the installer in any way, shape or form. If you don't want to have both of these, then I'll show you how to replace the shortcut. But everything is installed in that shortcut folder. So if you remove the installer, you will remove your entire game and you'll have to start again. So keeping both although a little bit annoying for having two shortcuts, is definitely the safest way to do this to ensure that you should be able to update the installer, etc. moving forwards. But if you do want to replace it, as the game does seem to be updating correctly on its own without the player requiring it at the moment, then what we can do is from that directory that we just were in, instead of adding it to Steam, we want to right click on it and say copy location. Once that location is copied, we want to go back to our Steam library and where that installer file is, we want to go to properties of that from the cog. And in the target, we're going to completely replace the target here with what we've just copied, but we need to make sure that it's surrounded with quotation marks. So make sure that we first, when we clear it all out, we put a quotation mark at the start, paste in our content, and then put another quotation mark at the end. Now this can be a little bit tricky on the keyboard if you have got a Bluetooth keyboard handy, it does make things a lot easier or you can use your phone. We've got guides for both of those. And then in the start in, we want to paste the same location without the quotation marks, but we need to remove the .exe off the end as we just want this to be set as the folder that that executable is in. So. Paste it with no quotation marks and then just remove the Zender Zone 0.exe from the end of that line so it shows the folder location. Or you can go and copy it and paste it from the Dolphin window if it makes it a bit easier. That's it. Now you've replaced the launcher target shortcut with the game directly and you'll be able to run that and hope that if there is a HoYo player update, that you can then just come and swap this back or that the game will continue to auto update and you won't need to go through the player anymore. Once you've done that, you can now switch back to game mode and run the game and it will be under the non steam library section. Make sure that the shortcut is set to Proton Experimental if it just starts and stops straight away. It sometimes gets lost between desktop mode and game mode, but it's very rare. And once you launch that, you will now be able to play in game mode with the overlay if you want it, or you can turn that off. As I said previously, I will have a best settings guide up for this in hopefully the next 24 hours as well, so you can get the most out of the gameplay. Or if you came here from that gameplay, then I hope that you enjoy the game. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.